victory. Congratulations. Your love affair with this tournament, this venue, continues. The nine data, the performance, just sum it all up for us. Disbelief. That's the, the only word I can say about the whole happening. Disbelief. What's going through your mind as you're going for double 12? Because we know nine darts are special, but here, the, the first one ever in the PDC happened here. Now you've done one here as well. What, what's going through your mind at that moment? Just throw the dart. And as soon as I let it go, I think if you watch it again, I think I'm already leaving the Yoki before the double even hits the double 12. But like before the dart even hits the board in double 12, I think I was already walking. I'm sitting here as a perfectionist. I'm sitting here as a winner. I'm sitting here with a lot of feelings that it's always going to go back to the circle of disbelief. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We saw big celebrations from you at the end. I haven't seen you celebrate that for, for a long time. Was that just the emotion coming out in you? And, and it's not something we see from you very often, though. No. When I'm a very confident player, I don't need to show people how good I am because my darts will do it. Today, I was anything but confident. Today, I was a battler. Today, I was a warrior. Today, I was like, let's get down to business. It's, it's about first to ten. And even though I hit a perfect leg, even though I hit the nine dart leg, I was like, it's first to ten legs. You won't win the game yet. There is no, no big celebrations here. It's all about you've got to get out of this game as first to ten. And guys... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here as a first to 10 winner. You've got over an 80% winning record in this venue. <clears throat> That's staggering stats. What brings the best out of you here? It's not only about here. Just think about this year's al alone when it comes to majors. Obviously, Phil, you're one of them guys that is very busy with stats. Tell me, just as a question referring back to you, tell me. What have I achieved already this year in majors? Uh, very good. Obviously, winning one is a, is a massive plus. That's one. And then the other, other twos. Can't remember that looking. Mm. Masters. How far did I go? Semi final. World Cup. Semi final. So, what am I doing? Winning the UK Open, semi final in the Masters, semi final at the World Cup of Darts. So, this year so far, when it comes to major tournaments, for some reason, Dimi is showing what he can do and I just hope I can continue but my next game Johnny Clayton another man on fire he just only won the last pro tour and it didn't really seem difficult for him so whatever he needed to do how tough it was for him he done it he's finally getting back to the old Johnny he's got a new shirt as well and then yeah he had to play Barnevelt which is another player in great form and he had a hundred plus average against Barney so it ain't going to be easy but what is going to be easy is trying to find my best game when I needed to and I hope I really can do that in the next round Richie, congratulations. thank you Dimitri, thank you what, what do you think is bringing out your best game at the moment because that, that really was a stunning performance never back down that's my mental ability never back down uh, me and my sports psychologist say that I've got the talent, I've got the, the mental strength, I've got the battle in me, I've got a lot of references that tell me whenever it's needed, I can do it. And one of the recent tournaments that I can use is watch Belgium against Holland. We beat a team that was averaging above 100, but I was scoring them trebles as if it was having a sandwich. I was like, I was eating a sandwich, which is just easy. And that's how I was feeling, getting them treble 20s every tr every time I went on to the hockey. So, I don't know, it's just... I play darts with passion, with all my heart, with a lot of goals, a lot of dreams. And <laughs> I have not already achieved all my dreams. I have not. So I think that's one of the reasons why I've got still a great, strong drive in me. I'm trying to explain what it feels like to, to hit a nine darts in this venue. Very simple one word, goosebumps. You don't need more, goosebumps. When you last won this tournament, obviously it was, it was down in Milton Keynes, it was yeah. behind closed doors, and yeah. it was a great achievement, but maybe you didn't get the full feeling of being a world match play champion with this venue and, and with the crowd. 
you're well, taking your first step towards that I, I know what you're saying, but the year after, when we got back to the Winter Gardens, we all know that Peter Wright beat me in the final. Yeah. But the first time that I was back in the venue, PDC done such an amazing thing to me. And they asked me before the session to come on the stage and they allowed me to lift that trophy one more time in front of the crowd. That feeling, there's nothing more special as lifting up a trophy in the air where you've got a lot of fans in front of you, a lot of people that like wishing you to be a great player, cheering it with you together. So that feeling of being a World Match Play champion, it happened behind closed, go closed doors, but the year after PDC gave me that feeling of lifting a trophy in front of a crowd that actually appreciate what I've achieved. And that was such an amazing feeling. And I only got to say thank you so much to all the people who back me up everywhere, wherever I go. I'll, live, I'll never back down. I'll always keep fighting. I'll always be a battler. Thank you. Dimitri, we know that you put a lot of work into remaining calm and keeping your composure on stage. How important was that after you hit the ninth darts? Because we've seen people hit nine darts and then because of the, the adrenaline, they sort of fall away a little bit. Yeah, the adrenaline was gone. I had no feeling as I need to hit a triple 20 now. I was just standing there like, okay, nine data, great stuff. Go to the table, have a drink, clean your hands, take your towel. And I was looking over to what I've got on my phone on the back. I've got a picture of me, my little girl, and A.V., the mom of uh, uh, my little girl. We was all three there, and I was just looking at it, and I was like, come on, daddy can do this. And I turned around to the yuck, and I was like, all right, back to basics. But there was no adrenaline in my body. So wherever I was throwing, there was no extra, oh, I want it, I need it, it must. There was nothing like that. There was just back to basics, three darts, as if I was back on the practice board. And that feeling is so different than playing a game when you need to win or playing a leg when you feel, for instance, the last decider leg, you must. That feeling was nowhere near. There was just me. It could have been the same as me just drinking a bit of water calm no feelings in the end it was quite a comfortable score line but martin was really really close to you throughout was there an element of frustration because you say that you were the better player throughout but he just kept coming back and you couldn't shake him off 100 percent knew that martin is one of the best players at the minute in this season he's showing strong uh, strength he's showing great ability he's showing a lot of talent he's showing a lot of hard work I think he's also private in a really happy space. He's uh, turned into be a dad. He's got a little kid. Uh, he and his missus are very happy. They got married this year. Like a lot of things are very positive for Martin Schindler. And you can see that he's, was it last year? No, I think it's this year that he won a European tour, yeah, right? So yeah. these, these, this is a thing I haven't even achieved. And I personally feel that UK Open or European tours are very similar. The only thing is, you always know in a European tour when you gotta play against who you gotta play the day before and what time you run. UK Open <laughs> can change that up yeah. a bit. But yeah, Martin Schindler and a fantastic player, and we'll see a whole lot of him in the future. For today, I can only say that I'm a very, very happy man. But all the credits to Martin, we'll be seeing a lot more of him, without a doubt. And even he will be hitting perfection, no doubt. Well done, Demetri, thank you. Thank you. Dimitri, many congratulations on the win today. Obviously, you've got the UK Open and a Pro Tour this year, and now you've hit the nine data at the Winter Gardens. You must be very happy with where your game is at the minute. Very happy. Um, yeah, about the results, about what I've achieved, very happy. But also a lot of where is this coming from? It would be so nice if all of this is happening when you're actually expecting it but a lot of times these things are happening when i'm not expecting it so for me the biggest feeling is disbelief it's not going to change but i'm so proud very very proud thank you and obviously you've just had a, a difficult draw in martin schindler and you've not you've got johnny clayton in the next round as well so it's not getting any easier for you <laughs> You're spot on there. It ain't gonna get any easier. But you know what? This is the match play. The match play is a tournament. We've got the top 16 seeds out of the two year, and they're gonna be backed up by the top 16 seeds out of the one year. That means these are players that are like in their greatest forms that you can think of. 
And guess what? Martin Schindler is definitely one of them players. Barnevelt is definitely one of them players. But so far, the seats are showing while we are seats. And we just want to keep continuing this. Thank you, everybody.